everyone, my name is Megan and I use they them pronouns and we're back today doing another art therapy directive. Um, yeah, and for this one we'll be drawing. So you'll need, um, I have a pen, I have a pencil because you never know. And then I have a bunch of markers, just a bunch of colors will do or any drawing utensil that you have around. Maybe you don't want to use markers, but you have colored pencils. That works. Um, crayons work, oil pastels, uh, colored like chalk, like not Crayola, but like compressed colored chalk. Um, yeah. If you want to do like this in painting, that's cool too. If you want to like do some watercolor, um, I'm just going to do some marker. And yeah, you can follow along with any like material that really speaks to you, but we'll be using markers today. And then of course our handy dandy piece of paper. And again, just using that same sketchbook that I have been using. So this should probably look familiar. And yeah, so yeah, that's all you really need. Kind of pretty simple today, uh, nothing too out there. Um, maybe you've worked with markers before, so you feel a little more comfortable, and that's awesome. So yeah, just tapping into that kind of drawing um, of imagery today. Our directive is actually drawing images of your good traits. So this really helps being um, more positive and towards yourself and really building a better self-image. So those are some benefits of that could possibly come out of um, this kind of directive. So yeah, that's kind of the, you know, hope, I guess, um, that you get out of this. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. So just thinking of your good traits, you know, what are, what are things that you're good at? Um, yeah, for me, drawing images of it. So again, thinking of how you're gonna like have your um, page layout. Is it gonna be more vertical, up and down? Is it gonna be more horizontal, like left to right, long ways? I think I'm gonna do this layout and I'm thinking of a few different ideas in my head. Um, yeah, drawing images of your good traits. So I think I'm gonna start out with like a hand because I always feel like a helping hand so yeah let's get into it and again um if you're kind of new still to art therapy and what that looks like um I like I wear this shirt um trust the process so that's really like if I can tell you one thing about art therapy it's really process oriented and um yeah just kind of letting go and trusting the process. And for some that can be really intimidating. Like just, what do you mean letting go? What do you mean? Um, and for some that can be like, oh yeah, sure. I can let go, whatever. Like, let's just try it. So there's no right, there's no wrong, but really just letting yourself be open to, yeah. Art therapy, kind of that creative flow. Um, yeah, and again, there's really no right way, you're not gonna, you know, fail or be wrong in my eyes or anything like that. So don't don't have that kind of like fear in the back of your mind that's like, oh, is this good enough? Like, I can't hang this up. No, that doesn't really matter for this kind of, um, this kind of art. So that might be different. Um, yeah, so just wanted to throw a little bit of blurb into it. Maybe you kind of already are getting the feeling, the feels for art therapy, get a hang of it, so awesome. But again, I always wanna like reiterate cause it's always, you know, nice <laughs> to tell you some, for someone to tell you like, no worries, just have fun with it, so yeah. <laughs> so again, drawing images of your good traits. That's what we're focusing on today. So I'm thinking of kind of like hand, I don't know. Let's see, we'll just draw it out. Just a quick little sketch. And, you know, by no means that you have to, you know, draw what I'm drawing, just 
whatever you know comes up for you like usually your first idea go with it see where it takes you so that's what I'm doing I think of like how that would look. I think so many times we can, you know, get caught up in easily comparing ourselves to others. So this is kind of like a nice directive to do to kind of think the other way. Like, I am good at things, you know, I too have strengths. I don't have to be like everybody else. I know on social media, you can get, <coughs> excuse me, you know, really like a kind of a toxic environment where you're just like constantly scrolling and, you know, that's not really benefiting anybody because at the same time, you're comparing yourself to what other people have, what other people look like, and, you know, it's not always healthy to you know, be on social media like that. So I'm just roughly sketching, and by no means, you know, do you have to start working in pencil, you can go right into color.
I'm just going with some pencil for me, that's what I'm doing. Sketching things, some things out. Now I think I'm going to go in with my markers. What's cool about these markers is that they have two sides to them, like a, a brush and then like a little like fine point, which is kind of nice. Um, let's see. So just kind of coloring in whatever comes to me. Just coming in with like a purpley, light purple color. I'm thinking of writing some text. You can include words if you want to. Totally optional. I'm just kind of doing some funky lettering, just because, why not? But again, you can choose to, you know, include some text and words, or, you know, maybe not. So, trusting the process, you know, kind of surrendering to it. And I'll definitely, you know, show you when I'm done here. I'll show you how it's looking so far. So it's like a hand kind of doing that, reaching out.
And again, just thinking of, you know, some positive, good, nice traits that you have about yourself. And just really owning up to it, you know? It's totally okay to claim those traits, you know? So yeah, I am good at that, you know? I am good at helping others or whatever it may be. Really let yourself hang out in that place of, you know, self-love. really letting yourself express what it needs to. You don't have to limit yourself or, you know, feel that someone's gonna have to see this later. Not necessarily. You know, thinking about some colors you want to incorporate or some shapes or maybe it's words. Really let yourself, you know, fully express what needs to be expressed. And just play around with something, you know, if you want to try what you know, certain, honestly, anything, technique or, hey, what if I put something in here in this corner, you know, how does that change the whole picture? Just try it out, go for it. It's your piece, you know, whatever you want to do with it. It's fine with me. Not that you need my permission. <laughs> Just kind of being on that journey and seeing where this piece takes you. You know, what is it trying to say? You know, what, what else does it need? Is it speaking to you? I'm just going in with my handy dandy pen. Just seeing if I can put any details in there. You know, just being loose with it, you know, you don't have to have straight, you know, intense lines if you don't want to. I'm just kind of going in that like kind of little scribbly approach.
you know, this is a good place, you know, try some things out, you know, with no judgment, no worries. And always coming back to that kind of directive, you know, your good traits, what are they, you know? Just kind of coming back to that if you get a little lost. And I just want to ask a question that you can ask yourself. How's, how is it? To feel, how is it feeling um, to be in process, you know, to be just, you know, blissfully unaware of time and just kind of doing something for a little bit, you know, just answering that on your own. How does it feel just to put pen to paper, pencil, you know, paintbrush, whatever, and just have a little bit of freedom, or a lot of freedom, actually. How does that feel for you? Just checking in, you know, if, if it's, I feel a little uncomfortable, you know, that's totally cool, totally valid, you know, if it's, actually, I'm kind of enjoying myself, I didn't think I would, awesome, <laughs> happy, happy for you, that's cool too. Personally, for me, I love being in process, it's so much fun, and I actually have found that you know, when I try to start art projects, you know, more on the, well, art therapy or just, you know, more conventional, typical art, um, yeah, projects like that, and I kind of go in with a clear idea, you know, expectations and, you know, whatnot, it kind of really stifles me, you know, I feel like I need that kind of spontaneity, that kind of freedom of the of the process to really produce work that I like or, you know, that I feel good about. Just interesting to me. Something I learned <laughs> along the way. So maybe you really like that kind of, you know, structure or rules so it's a little bit harder to let go. That's fine. Just noticing, really. It's a, you're just being witness to what's going on. So right now I'm just kind of adding some fun lines, just trying it out. Just seeing what, what happens and where it takes me. I'm just kind of detailing my letters I did earlier. I really like this pen. It's a nice pen. Pretty sure it's not made for art. It's made for, you know, like writing, but. It does well. <laughs>
I'm just kind of coming back to those cool lines and I'll show you what I created after I'm finished. I feel like I'm getting pretty close to the end. It's funny when you feel good about a piece, you know. I can start to feel that kind of wind down process. Just checking the arms. I just don't want to get marker on my white shirt. I'm just going back in and detailing the hand a little bit. So it's cool to take breaks and just take a minute to look at it. Oh, these little lines are so much fun. I feel like I could, you know, doodle them forever. Just kind of finishing up here. Maybe you're kind of coming to a good stopping point as well. That's pretty solid. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. Feels like almost a good stopping point. I say that and then I go back to it. <laughs> um, yeah. It feels like I was, I'm happy with it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll come up and I'll show you what I did. Um, just so you can, you know, see what I've been working on. Cause hard to see from back here. So thinking of my good traits, here they are. And you can see the words, a helpful hand, kindness, and creative. And that's that kind of font I was talking about earlier, kind of fun font. I'm detailing it. And then that's like, like that funky hand that's kind of outreaching like this. So I kind of wanted it to look like that. And I feel like you know, I can tell that it's trying to reach up and out and yeah, and then I got a lot of like little detail lines going on, like scribbles with that black fine point pen. Yeah, and then a lot of colors, bright colors. Yeah, I feel like that really captures uh, my good traits. So I can't speak for your experience, but just for my experience with this directive, um, I had a lot of fun with it. I, yeah, I feel 
almost like I, I kind of smile when I look at it, which is interesting. I really like the colors that I picked out, kind of cheery, light, bright colors. That's how I feel when I look at it anyway. And yeah, kind of this like magical, like fun, whim whimsical element to it too, which is nice. Um, yeah, so I wonder how yours turned out. Hopefully, you know, you got to portray what you wanted to portray in, in terms of your um, personal good traits. And, you know, in a time of comparison and um, yeah, jealousy or, you know, lack of self-confidence and not feeling, you know, good enough, um, this can really be a nice little directive to, to really like come home to yourself and just be like, oh yeah, I am good at this. I do have, you know, strengths and like, I'm good at these things, which is really refreshing. Um, yeah, because you're not always told that and it's easy to forget, I feel like. So, yeah, <laughs> a really nice positive um, directive to do um, in terms of self-image and, you know, self-characteristics and all that. So, yeah. Hopefully you can really build off of this and look back at it if you want to and just remind yourself in those um, those moments where, you know, you might be scrolling, scrolling and you feel like, you know, a little, little self-conscious, like, <laughs> not gonna lie, you know, I'm sure all of us have been there. Um, I know I have. <laughs> and yeah, just taking breaks from your phone might be a good idea and yeah, just coming back to this image and just reminding yourself, remembering, you know, of your positive, good things that you possess, really, and harness and can share with the world. And you should. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you so much for tuning in and trying this directive. Um, I'm proud of you for doing that. And yeah, hope it Hope it was a cool process for you. Um, trust the process. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all I have for you for this time. And yeah, thank you so much for tuning in and trying something. Have a good night, day, wherever you are. <laughs>